Who cares about kids' health and fitness? We know that our kids need at least 60 minutes of exercise per day because that's what's been scientifically tested to keep our kids healthy on a fitness level. I actually believe that is a minimum. We know that our kids need to eat healthy foods, too. Why should we really care, though, about kids' health and fitness? Here is a scary stat for you to get us started. Childhood obesity has more than tripled in the last 30 years, with the biggest increase between the ages of 6 and 11. Isn't that incredibly sad? Kids who are 6 years old are having to deal with health issues already. Not only that, but confidence troubles, school troubles, and some major stress. Another troubling stat is that obese kids are almost guaranteed to become obese adults unless a turnaround is made. I cringe at the thought of my kids going through something like this and having obesity-related health problems like heart disease and diabetes, not to mention self-esteem issues. I don't want to go there. Do you? This is just a small sampling of why we should care about kids' health and fitness. Okay, so we've established why we should care about the health of our kids and grandkids, but what can we do about it? I firmly believe it starts with us, the parents and grandparents. I know there are some who just want a wind-up solution to give our kids so they can do it on their own. Really? Are we going to just let our six-year-old take on health and fitness all by themselves? No way. One of the first ways to get the ball rolling is to be a good role model. No. We aren't perfect people, and never will be, but you wouldn't believe the power there is in modeling one simple thing. How about eating a piece of fruit in front of your kids or grandkids each day and offering them a taste or two? How about going on a walk and having them come with you? Honestly, these are very simple tasks that carry a ton of influential power. How about inviting them to get involved in some sort of organized sport, dance, yoga, or, or something of that nature? How about taking them to the grocery store with you and teaching them about one fruit or vegetable each time how they're grown, what they taste like, and stress the importance of how it affects their health versus cookies. What I really want to get across to you is that kids' health and fitness doesn't have to be complicated at all. It takes a parent or grandparent to take some small action one day at a time. What do you think about this? Is this something you can do this week? To learn more about improving your kids' health and fitness, visit my website at myfamilyexercise.com. That's www.myfamilyexercise.com.